This has been going on around the world of entertainment and politics and stuff. This is your sleeves. A study by the British Institute for Health Research, Simon, yeah. has found that one in five people don't know the difference between overweight and obese. Yeah. So just to explain if anyone has got that problem, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Listen up, John. Overweight <laughs> is when you can't run for a bus. Obese is when you are mistaken for one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, a new app. There's a new app. Andy, you need to listen to this. Mm. It's been developed by a San Francisco-based lingerie company. Mm. Lingerie. Oh. Lingerie company. I knew that. Uh, which can accurately calculate the bust size of a woman using a smartphone. Oh. That's awesome. Hey? That is awesome. That is awesome because the old way usually resulted in a slap rather than an app. <laughs> <laughs> Russian leader Vladimir Putin has denied the rumor that he used his pet Labrador. <laughs> he used his pet Labrador to frighten Angela Merkel, who is famously afraid of dogs. I didn't know that. In a remarkable power play at one of their very first meetings. I love the way Vladimir Putin just takes the piss out of everybody. Yeah. yeah. But it's the American president, Angela Merkel. Yeah, apparently she's afraid of dogs, so he brought his um, Labrador in and, yeah, disturbed her. Which is funny, which is kind of strange, because normally if Angela Merkel walked into a room, it frightens me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've ever had a walk I'm into surprised a room. that Vladimir Putin has a Labrador. You'd think he'd have a Rottweiler or something yes. like that. He's got a One lovely of those sweet pinches. Yes, he's yeah. got a lovely sweet, sweet Labrador. Labrador and a poodle and a Rottweiler in the bag. He yeah. eats the Labrador and he replaces it every year, every week, <laughs> just like some of his uh, cabinet members. <laughs> Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger has joined the list of famous people who've been paying tribute to the late David Bowie. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so Arsenal have a few common uh, things in common with Bowie. Okay, they both can fill a stadium, which yes. they do. And uh, there was one time with David Bowie, Eric Clapton, Mick Jagger, and Keith Richards where David Bowie came forth. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan uh, has been accused of spitting at a patron following a racist tirade at a popular New York restaurant. Oh, so that's happening there too. Yeah, so it's very surprising to me actually because apparently she's uh, well known for um, respecting minority groups. Yeah, she's, uh, she's on record a few times saying she loves black Russians. <laughs> uh, J.K. Rowling has revealed how she celebrated when she finished writing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. How did she do that? How? She wrote graffiti on her hotel room. No, you lie. Yeah. J.K. Rowling? Yeah. It raised the value of that Motel 6 plenty. <laughs> There's your D. Sleaze this morning here, Hot 91.9. 